Hey everyone, hope you know plants are doing great. Yesterday while watering my plants, I found that some of my plants were being attacked by mealybugs. So I thought why not make a video on it and show you how I remove them. Mealybugs are white powdery insects with soft bodies that feed on the sap of your plants. They can be found anywhere on the leaves and stems but also on the crooks and crevices. They usually appear in warm and moist conditions. I don't have a lot of them on my house plants because I live in a dry weather country, but in summers when the humidity rises, I spot a few of them on my house plants. Right now I have them on my Pelias and Hoya and also on my Phytonia. Before it spreads to other plants, I'm going to remove them and treat the plant. The first thing that you do when you spot a bug on your plant is to isolate it so that it does not spread to other plants. This is a very, very important step to control pest infestation on your plants. Next step is to remove the mealy bugs from the affected plant. For this, I mix one spoon of dish soap, any soap will do, to a liter of water. We'll also need a cloth and a cotton swab. Dip the cotton swab in soap solution and gently remove the bugs. Make sure to kill those bugs as you remove them. This will ensure that they do not spread to the other plants if you are using the same swab. I press the swab into the cloth and squeeze them like this. Also don't forget to clean the stems and even the pots. If you have mealybug infestation on bigger leaves on your house plants like these ones, then you can use the cloth directly on it. Just dip the cloth in soap solution and wipe them down. Since I have the infestation mostly on the stems and under the curls of the leaves, a swab can come into handy because it can get into difficult corners. I'm using a bamboo swab here to make it more sustainable. If there is any leaf or stem that is badly affected by mealybug, just remove them. This also applies to any plant that is completely covered with mealybug. It is better to throw them. If there is any healthy part, just take a cutting from the plant if it is possible. But if you can't save them, then it is better to throw them and save your other precious plants. The plants are now clean. I'm going to wash them with plain water. Just hose them down to get anything that we didn't get while wiping with the soap solution. I like to get this done after removing all the visible pests as we did before because otherwise they might fall into the soil and some might even survive. So I want to avoid that. There are several methods to prevent infestation from happening again. One of the most natural methods is to introduce predators like lacewings to your environment. These predators will feed on mealybugs and keep your space free from such pests. Sounds like a nice idea, but I'm not there yet. Since I keep most of my foliage plants indoors, I don't want to bring in more insects to my house. So I've not tried it maybe sometime in the future. The other preventative measure is to spray down the plant with neem oil solution. For this, we need one liter of water, one spoon of dish soap, and one spoon of neem oil. This is a standard measurement, but anyway, check the instructions on your bottle of neem oil that you have bought before use. As you can see, oil doesn't mix with water, so we use soap to help it mix well. Transfer this to a spray bottle and shake it well. Spray the plant well with neem oil solution. 
do this process either early in the morning or late in the evening so that the oil and the sun doesn't burn the leaves on your plant. Neem oil is supposed to have some repellent properties. They'll suffocate the pests and will disrupt the growth of eggs and larvae. Also, since it is an oil, it sticks onto the surface, making it difficult for the pests to cling on. One time application is not enough. Since this process is more on the natural side, it doesn't work like the store-bought pesticide or insecticide. So keep a close watch on your plant and apply the solution in a gap of 3-4 to four days until the infestation is completely removed. With the winter coming, the air is going to get more dry and I don't think the mealybug infestation on my plants is going to increase. Or at least that is my hope. But I have some other guys to tackle which I'll make a dedicated video on because I have to talk a lot about them. Hope this video was useful. If you have any other tips to tackle mealybug infestation, then please do comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye and take care.